but they wanted to move back to West Cumberland, perhaps to manage the store and swap residences. So in 1883, William Wilson trained residences with his cousin Nathaniel B. Wilson. So it was a trade between this house and the North Farmhouse, basically. Um, Nathaniel B. Wilson and his family moved to Morrison's Hill, and William Wilson and his family moved to what would become the North Farm. The store became known as, you guessed it, the N.B. Wilson store. During the Civil War, Nathaniel was in the army in the band. He left his drum and drumsticks to heirlooms. The drumsticks went to his son Scott, then to Scott's grandson, and the drum is now with a Norton descendant. Nathaniel B. ran the store until the death, his death in 1897. Nathaniel was married to Loema Pearson. They had five sons, George, Alva, Orman, Herman, and Scott. George made his living as a house carpenter. He married Emily Sanborn, and lo and behold, we do have another Emily Sanborn in the family now. But she's not here tonight. They lived in Falmouth and had Harvey and Ethel. After Emily died, he married Carrie Russell and moved back to West Cumberland. They had Willard, Clifford, Carol, Hazel, and Alice. Harvey moved to Vermont. His son Roderick came back to Cumberland and one of Roderick's two sons, Brian Wilson, hello Brian, lived on the other end of Mill Road from us. Ethel died at the age of 11. Willard lived at home until his death in 1924. His father, George, was driving a car in which he was a passenger and was struck by the interurban train on the crossing at Skillings Road. George survived, but Willard died after 10 days in the hospital. Cliff married and moved away. Carol ma married and moved away. And I think he's probably Carol Wilson from Thelma's father, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that one out. Hazel married Wilbur Buxton and died. 10 days after giving birth to their daughter Ethel. This Ethel grew up and married Brad Hawks, was a neighbor of ours on Mill Road. Alice married her second cousin, Bernie Wilson. They resided in Cumberland until the birth of their third child and then moved to Falmouth. Alice was a great friend of my grandmother, Mabel, and also worked as a housekeeper for Mabel. Her daughter-in-law, Dorothy, has loaned me some journals that Alice kept, and I was hoping to work some of the information from them into this presentation, but I ran out of time. Alva married Ella Winslow. He lived at his father's house and ran the store from 1897 until 1912 when he died. Alva called the store A.L. Wilson's. Here at the Society, in um, I hope to have it, there is a postcard showing the store um, when he had it. Alvin and Ella had one son who died as an infant and a daughter, Mildred. Mildred married her second cousin, Joseph, who lived next door. We can flip the imp in opinions of what became of the store. Most people said it is this house here. The shape and size seemed to match the old postcard picture. The people that said this was a store were adamant about it. Some people said that the store burned and they were just as adamant. And some said that the store burned and was rebuilt into the house. It's a nice compromise position, and we decided this was probably the closest to the truth. We have an undated newspaper article that says, Benson's General Store on Morrison's Hill destroyed and blazed. But we had not seen any record of the Benson's. We decided perhaps a report.